a grade um, and you've probably done some of it if you are a lower grade like grade nine um, so products of algebraic expressions it's just a fancy way of saying can you multiply everything out so product means multiply okay so can you multiply everything out and then usually the next step so sometimes they say multiply sometimes they say expand so same idea so multiply everything out or expand the expression and then can you simplify it so if you have you know any numbers that you can add up together any variables you can add up so in this video i'm going to work through a few just the the kind of things they can ask you on um, but please let me know if you have any questions on the in the comments so let's get into it first of all we've got this is called you don't need to know it they would never ask you this but this is called the product of a bi product of binomials okay the reason we call it that is we are multiplying two binomials so these are called this is a binomial and this is a binomial it just means they've got two terms in the brackets how we multiply these out is you use what we call some people say the foil rule if that helps you remember it so it's the first terms the outer terms the inner terms and then the last terms okay so what we always have to do is we have to multiply everything by each other so how we do that is first of all we do the first terms okay so our first terms here we've got this it means the first terms in the bracket so we multiply those two by each other so 3a times 2a is 6a squared next up we've got o so o is the outer terms so what that means is we're going to do this is the outside of this bracket and the outside of that bracket okay so if the if this foil helps you remember it then great if it doesn't just ignore it just remember you've got to go multiply like this so 3 times 11 is 33 and a times b is ab okay next up we do the inner terms again we just do this this is the inside term and this inside term so we're going to multiply like that so minus 2 times 4 is minus 4 a times b is a b you could write ba as well it's not technically wrong it's just we usually write it in alphabetical order so we put the a first and then finally we do the last terms so whatever's left over um, so last of all we have got minus 2b times 11b so minus 2 times 11 is minus 22 and b times b is b squared okay so we have done what, what they essentially say when they say work out the product we have worked out the products we've multiplied out what we can then do is the next step which they always ask you to do is then to simplify okay so usually they would say um expand and simplify so if we simplify this all that means is add what you can add so we've only got this a squared we can't add anything to that so 6a squared stays the same but here we've got an AB term and an AB term. So we can actually work with those. So 33AB take away 4AB. 33 take away 4. Sorry. 33 take away 4 is negative 29AB. And then we can't do anything with that B squared term. So that is going to be our final answer there. So it's just really important. They ask these product of binomial ones a lot because they want to make sure you remember to multiply everything in the brackets. Next up, we have got, it's basically the same thing. They just wrote it a little bit differently. So the question again would be um, expand and simplify. So let's just write it here just so you can get used to seeing the type of question. So they would say expand and simplify this algebraic expression. So they've written it in a bracket chart, but this square, what that actually means is actually it's exactly the same as the one before. It's 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. Okay, so that square is just showing we're timesing it by itself, so it's actually right like this. So we have to do exactly that same method from before. So we're going to go first terms, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then we're going to go next terms, um, so it's our inner term, so minus 1. Nope, sorry, that's not right. I'm leading you astray. Um, we're going to go 2x times minus 1. Okay, so that's minus 2x. Next up, we have got the inner term, so minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. And then the outer, the last term, sorry. So last terms, we've got minus 1 times minus 1, which is positive 1. Okay, so that is our expanding part done. You've got the mark for that. Now we just need to simplify. So 4x squared, that's the only thing there with an x squared. Minus 2x 
minus another 2x is going to give us minus 4x and then plus 1. So what you're going to start to see is it's always going to be these inner terms that you can simplify. Okay, so you can usually do something with them because we can add x's. But we can't add x's and x squareds. Okay, so just be careful that that doesn't, let you, that that doesn't trick you. Next up, we have got another one of these, just slightly different terms, so maybe it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm just going to run through this quickly just so you have some examples. Um, but you can skip ahead if this is getting too easy for you now. So um, we said, okay, it's the square brackets, which means it's the bracket times the bracket. Okay. And then we run through. So if we go 4b, first of all, so the first terms, 4b times 4b is going to be 16b squared. Next up, we've got 4b times minus 3c. So 4 times minus 3 is minus 12, and b times c is bc. Next up, minus 3c times 4b. So again, it's going to be minus 12bc. And then lastly, we've got minus 3c times minus 3c. So a minus times a minus makes a positive. 3 times 3 is 9, and c times c is c squared. Again, we can see we've expanded, and it's always these middle terms that we can then simplify. So everything else stays the same. 16b squared. In the middle here, we've got minus 12 minus another 12. So that's going to be minus 24bc. And then 9c squared stays the same. And that is our final answer there. OK, they can then mix it up a little bit so they can put it into a larger expression like this. So this would definitely be an expand and simplify question. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the second part. Let's work with the first part. First, let's get rid of this double bracket situation. OK, so that's going to be 2a minus 3b times itself, okay, because it's squared. And then we're just going to keep the second part the same for now. I'll, we'll work that out in a sec. Okay, so if we do these first two brackets, these first binomials, 2a times 2a is 4a squared. Then next up, we've got 2a times minus 3b, so that's going to be minus 6ab. Then we've got minus 3b times 2a, so 3 times 2 is 6, a, b. And then lastly, we've got minus 3b times minus 3b. OK, so that's minus times minus is a positive. 3 times 3 is 9. b times b is b squared. And then we've still got exactly the same thing going on here. But actually, let's work this part out now. So we would times in minus 3 times a, okay, so minus 3 times a is going to be minus 3a squared, and then minus 3 times minus b, it's really important you remember this sign in front, because that changes everything here, so minus 3 times minus b is going to be positive, so a minus and a minus makes a plus, 3ab. Okay, so that is all our expanding done. Now we can go through and add up the similar terms. So I'm going to highlight all the a squareds first of all. So 4a squared minus 3a squared. Remember you keep the sign in front. That's really important. If we add those up, let's see, we're going to get 4a squared take away 3. So we're going to get 1a squared. You don't have to write that one. You could just write a squared. It's not wrong either way. Then let's do all of our a, b things. So we've got minus 6a, b, minus 6a, b, and then 3a, b. OK, so negative 6, take away another 6 is negative 12. And then negative 12, add 3, is negative 9a, b. OK, and then we are just left with this 9b squared, so we can just add that on. 
Okay, so you can see they've thrown an extra term in here. They added on this extra bit at the end, but it's exactly the same process. Just keep your head, make sure you do all the multiplying right with your brackets. And then at the end, you just simplify. So do it in different colors or circuits or underline the different terms that you need to add just so you can keep track of that. Okay, let's see. I think I've got two or so more. Okay, just one more. Okay, that's fine. Um, this next one is what we call the product of a binomial, so a term with two brackets. Okay, so product of a binomial and a trinomial. So a trinomial means it's got three terms in the bracket. So we can see here, this is our binomial, it's got two terms. This is our trinomial, it's got three terms. It's exactly the same process now. So when we are doing this product, just keep your head, just make sure you multiply every single term by every other term. So if we look at this one, we're going to first of all go 5a times a squared. Okay, so 5a times a squared is a3. Next up, we are going to go um, 5a, so the first term here, times negative 2a. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, and then a times a is a squared. And then lastly, this is just, it's just one extra step because it's a trinomial. So 5a times 2 is going to be 10a. Then we just have to do exactly the same with the other term. So we've got to go minus 1 times a squared, so that's minus a squared. You can put a 1 in front there, doesn't make a difference. Minus 1 times minus 2, so a minus times a minus is a positive, that's going to be 2a. And then minus 1 times 2 is just going to be minus 2. Okay, so that is all our expanding. Now we can simplify if we can. So let's just um, highlight the terms that are similar. So we have got minus 10a squared, remember always circle that sign as well. So we keep the minus there. So minus 10a squared and minus a squared. And let's see what else have we got. Oh, we've got a 10a and a 2a. So we can sort those out as well. Okay, so we can't do anything with this a cubed. So we're just going to say 5a cubed. Minus 10a squared minus another a squared is minus 11a squared. And then if we work with just the a's, so 10a plus 2a is 12a. And then we've just got that minus 2 left over. And that is our final answer there. Okay, I really hope this video helped. Um, please let me know in the comments if there's any particular questions you want me to go through. And thank you for watching.